Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. I had a question in the last video. People were asking about these glasses. I got them from Wood Miser back in 2019 when I got my LT40 sawmill. I don't know if they sell these on their website or not, guys. I, I have no idea, but if you want them, maybe give those guys a call and see if they'll sell you a pair. But that's where I got them up in Indianapolis. So we're down here in the timber frame today. I've got a couple of things to work on. I need to get this electrical done right there. I'm running the outlet for the table saw. We're gonna bring the table saw down here today also. The other thing I'm working on, which we're gonna do first, is finish up this back wall. I'm putting insulation on there and some really nice T111 wood siding. I'll show you guys what I got done last night. This is the back wall of what I'm probably gonna call the hand tool room and also the lumber storage area. I put some insulation up last night just so you guys don't go to the comments and uh, rate me over the coals, I know there is a gap on the top right there above the insulation. I put spray foam up there, so that's okay. So don't get too worried about that, friends. Don't jump in the comments on me just yet. I'm sure you'll find something else in this video that you don't like. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're putting the insulation up and on top of the insulation, I'm using the T111, I think that's how you say it, Wood siding, let me move the camera over here and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So right here is the siding. This is pretty much pine plywood with a nice face on the front of it. A lot of people use this for exterior, but I think it's gonna look good on this back wall for the shop. And I know guys, I know, I'm with you on this. I have a sawmill and a kiln and all this wood processing equipment, why am I buying siding to put inside my shop? Well, the reason being, I need to start building some doors. I need to bring my woodworking tools down here. I need some shelves and some storage, and I need it now. So that's why I went ahead and invested in some of this siding and the insulation to get this wall completely finished so I can start moving all my stuff down here. It's been aggravating. I'm trying to build stuff, and I have tools in two different shops, and I'm tired of running back and forth. And if you're interested on the cost on this, this is a 30-foot wall for the insulation plus the T111 was about $450, not too bad. That got her. If anybody's curious, I'm using two inch brad nails on my little uh, nail gun here to attach this to the wall. And I think that's the proper way of doing it. But if it's not, let me know down in the comments below, you guys that's hung a lot of this stuff because this is my first time doing it. And I think Brad Nails is plenty enough holding power to hold this up. happy with the holding power of those brad nails. I'm still using them, but I'm also reinforcing every panel with a uh, dent screw right there. That's making it a lot stronger right there. I noticed with the brads, it was kind of not getting a lot of good pressure against the wall. With this right here, I'll put about four in per sheet and the brad nails, we should be good to go, hopefully. I'm gonna grab some lunch here, guys, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, I've got it finished up. I have one more piece over in the corner, but that's gonna wait. I gotta get some more insulation before I put that one in. But, it's pretty good. What do you guys think? Some people paint this stuff or stain it. I think I'm gonna leave it just a natural color. What would you guys do? Leave me a comment below and let me know. It might look good if I paint it, but I kinda like the natural wood look. Here's what the layout's gonna be in here. Right here on this side of the wall, we got the miter saw. I still need to run two outlets over here, one for the saw and one for the dust collector. And somebody commented on the last video to get me one of these large little hoods 
large little, that kind of sounds backwards, doesn't it? It looks pretty big, I guess. It's a hood that goes over the miner saw. I may try that for the dust collection and see what happens, but the miner saw will stay right here on this side of the room. Here on this side of the room is where my workbench will be right here in the middle. I'm still using that Harbor Freight workbench you guys might have saw in videos about four years ago. It's not really a heavy duty workbench, but it's actually held up pretty good over the years. But now that this shop is nearing completion and I'm gonna have all my tools down here, I hope to build myself finally, after years of dreaming about it, a proper workbench. So that will probably happen sometime this fall, maybe sooner. But this will be the hand tool work area. I'll, I'll put all my fist tools right here against the wall and hang all my other tools behind us right here. So I'm really happy that I got this wall done so now I can officially move into the shop and actually start getting some work done. Now we're gonna move over and do some electrical. I need to do a junction box right here because I'm running two outlets off of one breaker. I know, I know. You guys are really probably starting to comment right now as fast as you can type about how my electrical work is not as good as yours. Well, it's good enough for me and I've never had a fire and I'm pretty okay with it. But what I'm doing here is I'm trying to conserve wire because wire is so expensive. I need to run an outlet over here. I've actually already got it ran over here, Nathan. Come on now. I got one circuit, number 10 wire, run over here for the planer. I need to come off this circuit though and put another outlet for the table saw. And here's the reason I'm doing this. Some people would want a circuit for each tool. I'm never gonna run those two tools at the same time. So it's kind of uh, a waste of wire right now and more so a waste of money. So I'm putting a junction box right here. Am I pointing to it? Yes, right there. The viewfinder's not working today, guys. I'm gonna come off the bottom of that and have two 220 outlets, one for the planer, one for the table saw. All right, guys, I've got the connection made. Now I need to put two outlets right there below it. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Let me see if it still works. Looky there, guys, it still works. I've got an outlet for the planer, one for the table saw, and one for the dust collector. And the one right there, the dust collector's plugged into, actually goes to a switch right there. So, when I wanna cut on my dust collection for the table saw or the planer, I just flip the switch. Something else here, friends, while we're talking about this dust collector, this is a two horsepower Harbor Freight dust collector, but I took your all's advice, several people commented about this, and I upgraded the filter right there. This is made by, I think, Wynn Industries. It's pretty expensive, it's about $200, but it's supposed to do a better job than the cloth filter that comes with the dust collector. Wasn't too hard to install either. These four clips right here took about five minutes. All right, guys, I wasn't gonna do this today because we done this in the last video, but I got some comments here I gotta share with you guys. Some people were rather irritated, it looks like. Tell you what. I didn't get everything done I was wanting to uh, get done today either. My garage door tore up, the spring at the very top broke this morning so i've been waiting all day on the garage guy to get here and he finally got here this afternoon and i've been up there for the past hour holding the ladder for him so therefore i didn't get a lot done tonight that i wanted to get done but tomorrow we'll be running the sawmill doing some stuff in the kiln and dad will be here in the morning we'll be hanging some metal on the gable end of the barn over here so a lot going on so let's get to these comments here okay this is from steve davidson so Steve Davidson likes to complain. He says, stop complaining when we pay $8 for diesel. It is what it is. Boring live stream, change it up. Well, Steve, I've told a lot of people this. I'm gonna tell you this, buddy. This isn't Burger King. You don't get it your way. I don't know what you want me to do on these live streams. Maybe juggle or something. I don't know, what do you want me to do? Like sing or play the piano or or tell jokes or something, what am I supposed to do? I answer questions on the live stream. How, how can I make it more exciting for you, Steve? Because it's all about you, buddy. It's all about you, Steve, whatever you want. You just give, you send me an email and tell me how you want my live streams to go because you're bored. Just don't watch them. That's a shocker, ain't it? Just don't watch, if, if, if you get bored, don't watch, the, you know, don't watch the live stream. I mean, what do you want me to do? I answer questions. You want me to, I mean, 
Sorry I'm not entertaining to you there, Steve. You complain too much there, Steve. Do us all a favor. Go watch somebody else. I'm gonna go ahead right now and hide you from the, I'm blocking you from the channel, Steve. You will not be missed there, pal. You've complained way too much. Uh, okay, I, don't, I can't pronounce your name, so you asked just out of curiosity, when you talked about climate control in the shop, how are you going to insulate to keep the heat and humidity out of the summer? Well, we're insulating all the walls here, and I'm also spray foaming every crack, and that uh, Mr. Cool unit is rated for 1,500 square feet. The shop is 1,200 square feet, and by the time you add all the machines in here and all the lumber comes out of the kiln, it shouldn't be a problem keeping this place climate controlled, hopefully, hopefully. All right, here's a comment from Juan. You need to get rid of that DeWalt and buy a Festool miter saw. Well, I would like to have a Festool miter saw, but those things are like maybe $1,500, $1,600. That's a lot of money for a, for a miter saw. That DeWalt miter saw was $400 and it's never failed me. It fails me on the dust collection, but that's about it. But uh, I like to have a Festool. I have a Festool trap saw, a Festool domino, a Festool sanders, router. I got a whole lineup of Festools you guys, or most of you guys haven't even seen before. I'll be bringing those down to the shop probably sometime this week. All right, here's a good comment, guys. A little inspiration for some of you all. Frederick Bays. Okay, Frederick says, hello. Actually, he says something else. Take the O off of that. I am 73, been doing physical labor all my life. I can still pick up 100 pounds and walk away with it. Can't do it all day as I did at 50, but I can still do it more than a few times a day. I work 12 hours a day on the farm. Well, Frederick, you're the man. If there was more people like you out there, this world would be in a lot better shape because you're not afraid of hard work. And at 73, and, 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 excuse me, and at 73, you're still doing that. So my hat is off to you, man. I'll tell you what, that's, that's a good comment right there and a good story. That's the problem nowadays. Too many people are looking for the easy way and they're afraid to work. There's a lot of that going on. A lot of it going on. They spend more time trying to get out of work than doing the work. Uh, Moms, M-O-M-S, says, have you ever ate one of those guinea fowls? I have not. Now, I had a guy from Africa here last year Hinko to help build the kiln. He said that was a, a delicatessen, if that's the right word, delicatessen, or delicacy, delicacy. I can't talk, guys. He said that was a delicacy in Africa. And he was giving those things the eye, to be honest with you. I was trying to wonder if he's gonna grab my knife and go grab him one for dinner. But uh, I've never never ate one, never thought about it. But uh, probably tastes similar to chicken, I would imagine. Similar to chicken. All right, guys, here's another good comment, and we will end with this. Don't want to end with nothing negative. There's plenty of negative comments in here, but I usually delete them or ignore them, or I just block them from the channel. So this is from Dennis uh, Strasburg. I hope I'm saying your name right, Dennis. I appreciate the work you do, and I'm sure your family does too. Going into my 80s, I wish I could do more. I miss it. That's pretty interesting right there. So this man right here is in his 80s and he misses the hard work that he'd done in his younger years. And you got people nowadays, my age, instead of looking for work, they're looking to get out of work. I tell you. The generation before me certainly was something, I tell you that. They were something else. All right, friends, I appreciate everybody watching. This was another shop video. You'll see more of these in the future as I start bringing more tools down here. I gotta bring that table saw down. I may get dad to help me tomorrow bring the table saw down here. But tomorrow we got a busy day, like I was saying, saw milling, metal work, do some stuff in the kiln. And the Etsy store will be getting updated with some more walnut by the end of the week. And I'm also gonna put those spotted uh, bowl blanks on there as well, the maple that we saw the other day. So you guys hang in there and we'll see you in the next video.